Hi, Sharon McCrum here, Walport Public Library. Today we're going to do a STEAM project, not just a STEM, but a STEAM project from How to Be a Scientist, Steve Moult. And it's going to be in the chemistry section of this great book that we have at the Walport Public Library. Today, what we're going to be talking about is, is black ink really black? This is a very simple project that you can try at home. You start out with a coffee filter. You make a nice large circle in the middle. You fold it in half. You fold it again. And you fold it into eighths. Then you're going to attach it to a water container so that the tip of it just barely touches the water. The water is going to wick up into the coffee filter. And from that, you're going to get some interesting results. And what is ink made of? To get the color just right, pen makers use a mixture of different colored inks. Some of these inks mix into water more easily than others. This means they're more soluble. When the water rises up through the paper, it carries the ink with it. The more soluble the ink is carried farther. So all of the different colors are separated on the paper. So when you unfold it, you're going to see what happens with black ink. In other words, there's a lot more to black ink than just black. So let's find out. Okay, so I have one ready. I'll show you how it started. I made a nice black circle there. Kind of an oval, actually. But we'll fold it again and again. And how about we add a little more black just to be sure that we get everything we want. Add a little more on this side. And I'm using water-based pens today, markers. They tend to work a little better than most, but as a scientist, feel free to try different things like dry erase markers, other types of water-soluble markers, permanent ink, see what results you get. Okay, we're going to clip this on, and we're going to barely touch it to the water. There it goes. Look at that. Just barely touching the water, and look how it absorbs up into that coffee filter. And do you see different colors happening? I sure do. Especially some purples coming up there. Now, I have done some finished ones, and I want to show you. This was black ink. And this one was black ink. Isn't that amazing? Look at all that color in it. Now, I've done some others that I want to show you, too, that I did with different colors of ink. Look at this one. You can be, make some really lovely things after they have dried as well. So we're going to try a colorful one. I started out with some blue, and I thought we would add some purple to it. They say that blue will travel the farthest, is the most soluble color. Let's add some purple. And how about another color of blue, too? And see what we get. of a circle I kind of have a diamond shape going this time. I'll show you. There we go. Let's see what we get with this one. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to barely touch the water again. There it goes. Look at it go. Oh my goodness, that blue is really beautiful, isn't it? A little bit more. There it is. It's wicking up. Okay. Let's get a paper clip and let it set there for a moment, and we'll take the other one off and see what's happening. That is a lot of blue. Okay. Now, this one hasn't dried yet, but let's see what we've got. Okay. Right now, it looks fairly light, but look. It's done the purple again. This particular black pen is largely made up of purples. 
So I want you to try this at home and see what you come up with and then see what maybe you can use some of these beautiful things for. I once made a cool um, jellyfish by adding ribbons to it. You could make butterflies, you could do all sorts of cool stuff. Let's check the blue one. So you're adding science and art today. Oh, look, you can see little bits of the purple still in the middle, but that blue really did absorb nicely. And it almost looks like a tree. Okay, there you go. That's today's very quick STEAM project. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you try it. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.